know, I feel like every month I'm making a video <laughs> explaining things that have happened to me. And, you know, sometimes I think I, I, I get very overwhelmed uh, with life and I promised myself that I wasn't going to try and do what I've done before on YouTube. You know, this channel used to be a channel where um, I tried to be somebody I wasn't with somebody I really shouldn't have been doing it with, right? Uh, a facade, fake, uh, just fake, right? And I lost myself. I began to not enjoy YouTube. Um, but as I started to upload phone flipping content and reselling content and teaching you guys, I've been able to build a beautiful community of beautiful individuals. Sunday, let's just jump straight into it. I got robbed. My car was stolen. And like me saying that right now sucks. Okay. Um, you know, I see myself as the individual that keeps pouring into people even when I don't feel like I have it to pour in. And I try to just keep smiling and going about my day, right? So I live in Philadelphia, PA, um, and a lot of Kias get stolen, a lot of cars get stolen, a lot, okay? Trackhawks get stolen all the time, um, scat packs, all of that, right? And I go, and it's my fault. Like I could take complete ownership. You guys can follow me on Instagram. I know I don't ever plug in my Instagram, but educated underscore underscore hustler. That is my Instagram. And I also have a new Instagram where I just talk about phone flipping and reselling. Hustler taught me. So I posted on there. I'm going to this court. It's the Kobe courts at Tuscan. I posted it and I let my location be known. But not only that, um, I had a lot of valuable things in my car, a lot this day. I don't know why. That's why I know it's a higher, it's a higher being above that meant for this to happen. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna give a message to the people that did break into my car, as I know for a fact that they do and they should be watching me now. Um, one, I really, really, I had a laptop. I had about seven, nine, 10, maybe 12 phones in my car. Um, a camera, all of my camera equipment. Um, I had protection in my car, all of that. They didn't touch the protection. Um, I always walk and go, and, and, and go with protection everywhere I go. This particular day I went to the park. So me going to the park, Obviously, I didn't bring my protection with me at the park, which I probably really should have at this point, um, but I didn't, okay? And um, my two main phones that I used, I left in the car. Even though I was about to take them out the car, I left them in the car. Played ball. I went to go play ball at 2 p.m., okay? Um, I got done playing the ball around 5 p.m. I went. Uh, I, was, I wasn't I was really done playing ball. I went to go get some water ice. So I went to go get my car so I can drive. I didn't find my car. Um, I had to, I didn't have no phone. I didn't have anything. Um, I had to find somebody, use their phone so I can get home. Got home, went on, find my iPhone. Found that my iPhones were still pinging around the corner. So I got my guys and we went to go do what we do. You know, I went to go and, and get my stuff. Um, that was like my main objective. Now, I'm not a violent person. I'm a, I'm a person of a, lo a logic now. Like I used to not be a per person of logic. I used to be a person, y'all you know, see me stuttering because I really wanted to do something, but it's all about logic, right? I gotta think and be logical because you can lose your freedom in your life nowadays, not thinking um, with strategy. So uh, pulled up with my guys and um, pulled up to where my phone was pinged. And saw so my car bumper ripped off. They dragged my car to this particular spot because I still had my keys. Window was busted open, but they didn't take much. They took my camera, all of my equipment. They smashed my MacBook that I do all my work for you guys on. They smashed it on the ground, like smashed it, smashed it. Matter of fact, I can show you guys. Oh, 
Oh. So they smashed it up. Okay, they smashed it all up to this port to a Pope, my favorite MacBook. They smashed it all the way up. Okay, didn't take it, didn't steal it, smashed it all the way up. Um, my phones, uh, I don't have all my phones with me, but because they're all broken, uh, and smashed them all up, put my main phone on a window shield facing nice and neat. It was a message. It was a message. I don't know what the message was for, but it was a message. Um, so this whole weekend, I've, I haven't been able to really work. Well, not the whole weekend, but the end of the weekend, I haven't been able to really work. Um, the beginning of this week, Monday, I had to get my stuff together. Um, I had to go out, you know, buy a new and approved better MacBook. Um, I had to, you know, because it's like I work too hard to have anybody ever be able to play with me. Right. And this is why I try to tell you guys, like, always hustle, keep working. But like, when it comes to this phone flipping stuff, right, you got to move careful because people are always watching you, which I know, but not even just people always watching you. People don't like when you succeed. That could have been somebody real close to me because how do they know what car I drive or what car I drove because I have multiple cars? What, like, how do they know? How do they know? So um, I'm going to end this by saying this. The message to the people that did break into my car, it took my camera equipment, the stuff that I literally used to work. Um, thank you. I forgive you and thank you. And I hope that you got what you wanted. And I hope that you f you got the feeling you needed by doing what you did. And I also think you're very, very smart. And I thank you for this, for dragging my car somewhere where I couldn't hear it. Because I think that if I would have heard it, I would have put myself in a dangerous situation. I also thank you for teaching me that where I am, I still need to be tested and I still need to go and move forward and work harder. Thank you. Because see, what you did was you you poked the bear and not in a negative way. You poked me and made me realize I got to get the freak up out of here. And maybe I'm too accessible. Cause I am somebody that does um, have people watching me. I do have people um, that I'm sure don't like me. I don't know my enemies, but I'm sure I have enemies. Okay, and, and I'm <laughs> this week you're gonna see a lot of videos about certain things people are saying online. And what I would say is it hurt on top of everything that I'm like. I feel like in life. I'm in a boxing match and right now I'm in the corner like, ah, you know what I mean? But we're going to get better from this. And I just want you guys, I want, excuse me, I wanted to tell you guys this story because I wanted you guys to know like I am perfect and I go through stuff too. <laughs> and I'll be hurt too. I'll be hurt too. I'm hurt. I'm hurt. But... And I don't know why I, I got to get hurt, but um, I'm thankful I'm not dead or in jail or, you know, I'm thankful. So instead of react, blame, I will grow. I will grow. Um, so back to business live start back tomorrow um i'll be live 8 a.m back to business man we ain't finna let nobody stop this 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 month we're going to the dominican republic this month we working we doing and we going we ain't nobody stopping us ain't nobody finna stop us we we too blessed we too blessed we are too blessed we hustle too hard we not about to let nobody stop us all right, so whatever you're going through, believe in yourself. You got this, and I, I hope that you keep your head up. And um, 
understand this. I'll leave y'all with this quote. I don't want anybody that won't stand in the rain with me when they have the option to be dry. I don't want anybody around me that has the option to be dry, but won't stand with me in the rain. So I seen, I, I wasn't online for like a day or two, people putting comments out there and, oh, you're this and you scammed and I ordered 12 AirPods and you only gave me four. They're complete lies. But I understand it comes with growing, I understand. I had people lie and say they ordered things that didn't even order things just to get stuff. I had a bunch of things. But the beauty is that's what it comes with. What are you willing to, what are you willing to deal with? Okay, because a lot of people want to be successful, but what are you willing to deal with with the success when it when you can when you're trying to grow? What are you willing to deal with? You got to make that choice and understand that and keep going. Okay? So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm about to edit this, put this out right now. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Videos will keep going. Um, I'm not going to let nobody stop me. I'll see you guys. Make sure you guys continue to grow, continue to hustle. And um, I'll see you guys at the top because it's too crowded at the bottom. Peace.